loved by somebody. Yeah. Take a number, take a walk, and come home. Everybody wants to feel special, extraordinary, and everybody needs to feel like they're not alone. Praise God. I'm Dr. Kiki Singletary Williams. It's my pleasure to be with you today for biblical inspiration. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sending in your prayer requests. Thank you for keeping us lifted in prayer. We pray for you. You pray for us, okay? On behalf of the co-founder, Mr. Carlisle, it's my pleasure to be with you here today. Um, I will share what God gave me, and I'm going to skedaddle on out of the way. Um, please join me in turning to Galatians chapter six and verse seven. Galatians chapter six and verse seven. It says, do not be deceived. God is not mocked for whatsoever one sows, that will he also reap. Very familiar scripture. We quote it all the time. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever one sows, that will he also reap. So I want to share this subject. But nothing. Okay? But nothing. Um, we have to understand that because what we plant will reap a harvest, we've got to be sure that we're planting on good ground. We got to make sure that we're planting in season. We've got to make sure that we're using good seeds. And what we are planting is going to grow. It's going to come up. They used to say, it's coming up again. Your trouble that you're going through, 
trust me, you're, you're going to reap a harvest. Those good seeds that you planted, the good that you do to others is coming up again. And so you would hear that, and I know I would as a child, you'd be like, okay, do unto others as you have done unto you. Like, treat others as you like to be treated. And as you grow and you mature and you decide that you're going to um, give, listen and heed and ear to what is really being said in the scripture, we have to understand that we are accountable for everything we say. Everything that we do, every action, every inaction, every response, oh my God, we are accountable. And we have to understand that when people, whether they're familiar with what you do or who you are or in your circle or a stranger on the street, when they respond to you in a certain way, they, in essence, plant a seed that has to come up. So you might be wondering, well, what does the topic but nothing have to do with anything? Sometimes we want to make excuses for our lack of faith. We want to um, make our flesh feel validated in wrong. We want to defend ourselves. We want to strike out. We want to uh, stay in good graces with God, but still help him fight our battles. So when things happen to us or around us, or when people just out of the clear blue start just acting a monkey toward us, you know, it's, it's nature, it's human nature to want to get back at them. You think of how you can get even. Um, and so you rationalize and you're within your own mind. I hope it's just in your mind, but some people actually say it, they write it down and they carry it out. But there's, there's a tendency to rationalize why we're doing what we're doing. Well, I can't say I'm going to give it to God, but I'm going to do X, Y, and Z. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. It don't work like that. <laughs> so there's the topic, but nothing like they used to tell us. Uh -uh, don't give us no excuse. There's times when you may feel like you are uh, fighting a losing battle. And you say, hey, I'm a child of God and the Lord is, is taking care of this for me. But I'm going to do such and such on my own behalf. Today, God says, but nothing. Either you're a child of God or you're not. Either we're going to be real and stand back and see the salvation of God. Either we're going to let the seeds that we've planted speak for ourselves, like, like, like we used to sing, let the works that I've done speak for me. Hallelujah. So either I'm going to let God be God and stop trying to defend and take up for ourselves. See, sometimes things happen out of the clear blue and we panic. And we can say, oh, I ain't worried about it. Oh, it is what it is. But if you are accustomed to having things in place, then it's easy to kind of start saying, oh my God, what can I do? What should I do? What should I be doing? And while I'm waiting on God, I'm also doing things in an effort to say that I've done something to help myself. So um, I, can, I can say, I'm going to pray about it. But I bet not see them at the store this week. Well, I, I can say the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want, but I'm going to get what I want. That's not how it works. 
see the scripture that we we just read tells me that whatever I sow, whatever you sow, you're going to reap. And the thing I like about reaping and sowing is we can we can plan all we want to. Only God can send the increase. And when he sends the increase, oh yeah, it's a real harvest, okay? And so it behooves us to stop using the word but, okay? I have faith to believe, but either you believe or you don't. I'm a child of God, but sometimes I might use the wrong word. Either you're a child of God or you're not. I, I love everybody, but sometimes I don't like these type of people. Either you love or you don't. And see, what people fail to understand is the dirt that they do towards you as a child of God comes up in other areas of their life. They try to figure out, wow, why are we going through this? Why is this happening? Why is my loved one being attacked on this? Why are we experiencing this? It can very well be because of how they treated you, child of God. So I want to share to every born again believer who loves the Lord, that if God has spoken over you healing, you're healed. There's nothing for you to turn around and say, well, you know, they prayed for me and I believe I'm healed, but uh, 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 but nothing. We don't do that no more. I either I'm going to stand in my healing or I'm not. <laughs> and, and, and see what I'm, what I'm sowing is coming up. So I should be sowing uh, praise. I should be sowing um, songs of worship. I should be reciting God's true spoken word back to him over my life. By his stripes, I am healed. God said, I will make you the lender and not the borrower. Hallelujah. So I can't look at my bank account and think one way. And, oh, I got faith for the Lord will supply, but I don't know what I'm going to do. Wait a minute. Either he's going to supply and I believe what he said, or I don't. So as we are moving in our journey from day to day, we have to understand that the big picture of things is in God's hands. And while you may not see where this is going or why you're in this situation, or, or how come this happened to us? And, and Lord, do you see what's going on? You know, we, we go through things to, uh, to try to figure out, wow, this was, this was a marriage that I thought would last. Oh my goodness, I never thought I would fall out with my best friend. Whoa, I worked at this place 20 years. I never thought I would be the one they fire. God is saying, those seeds that you planted, you're going to reap the harvest of them. It doesn't matter what your environment looks like right now. It doesn't matter how you're being attacked or what you're up against at the moment. God said, either you trust me Either you're going to depend on me, either you're going to rely on my word, or not. If we are, we need to stop saying but. Like when children are, are getting, uh, they're fighting along amongst each other, and somebody gets in trouble, one child will say, but he hit me. Like, this is my justification for hitting this child back. Uh, but she stepped on my toe. Why did you push her? Uh, he pinched me. You know, there's always a rebuttal where we feel like we have to defend ourselves. Tonight, God is telling you, you don't have to defend yourself. I, says God, I'm going to defend you. So you can take the butts out of it. You can, you, there's no, there's no buts to what God is saying. And our scripture tonight, he's saying, don't be the same. Don't get it twisted, honey. Don't, don't start thinking the wrong way. Don't let your good be evil spoken of. 
Don't don't let your mind wander off into uh, uncharted territory. God said, don't be, don't be deceived. Don't get this twisted, honey. Don't you fool yourself. Whatever a man soweth, the evil and the content of somebody's character that they then push towards you to destroy you, to sabotage you, to stop you, to knock you down, to embarrass you. God said, what is sown is what is exactly will be reaped. And your harvest, the fruit of me taking care of it, it's not going to take a regular harvest season. Before you think about it and before you can wrap your mind around what has happened to you, God said, I will have allowed sowing to start. See, the thing that people don't understand is um, because the Lord is soon to come for his church that is without spot or wrinkle, we got to understand that the blessings that he's promised you are being hastened. <laughs> the blessings that God has spoken into your life, um, in your private prayers, that has been prophesied over you, that are your great, great, great grandparents' desires for you, they have to come to pass. So God is busy allowing those prayers being answered. And sometimes while you are in your glory time and you're in your harvest and you decided, Lord, for you I live and for you I die, the enemy will, will create a storm to try to distract you. But in, 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 our, in our heart of hearts, in our mind of minds, we need to remember that what we sow is what we're going to reap. Anything that's, that's sown is reaping. So I've got to be, uh, anything I reap is going to be sown. I've got to be extra, extra careful in this hour to, to plant seeds of goodness, to plant seeds of righteousness, to plant seeds of, of, of love, to plant seeds of encouragement. We've got to be on our P's and Q's day and night and night and day. Who cares if nobody's there watching you and can give an account of what you did? God is watching. So from this day forward, let's not say, oh, well, I thought I would do such and such, but take the butts out of it, but nothing. If you're going all the way, going all the way. If you're going to start praying and fasting every week, start praying and fasting every week. If you're going to go feed the hungry and homeless, start feeding the hungry and homeless. Stop letting distractions and excuses get in the way of the harvest. Some of us have held up our own harvest because of our inability to respond. And we've refused to move and we've refused to act. God is saying, I love you and I'm concerned about you, but watch the words that you're saying. You speak evil over other people. You sabotage other people. It's coming back. You speak love over other people. You work to help other people. It's coming back. My Bible say, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Hallelujah. And whether anybody respects your title in God, that's who you are. So when they have to understand that when they do dirt towards you, they're doing it to God. You're made in God's image and likeness. Walk in it, my brother. Walk in it, my sister. And understand, God's not asleep. He's not too busy to hear us when we cry. So keep being encouraged. Keep moving forward. Keep knowing that this great God that we've been serving and he's been providing and he's been making ways. God said, the, the, the heart of the king is in my hand. Glory. I'm going to make them do what's right by you. I'm going to be the one to, to make the way for you. Take the butts out of there. We don't, we don't, from now on, we need to be all the way sold out into this thing of living right and living holy. 
and giving God our best and honoring our commitments. You're not flesh not going to want to feel like it all the time. You're not going to always want to do right. Do right anyway. Pray for those who despitefully use you. Pray for those who set traps for you. Pray that God lets them reap it in mercy. Hallelujah. Because they're going to reap it. Hallelujah. And when you hear about it, don't say, mm -hmm, that's what they get. Well, they're good enough for them. No. You're going to say, I'm glad I'm God's child. Just say, I'm glad I'm God's child. Lord, thank you for covering me. Thank you for covering my family. Thank you for making ways out of no ways. Begin to praise God. And remember, the seeds that you plant are coming up. And some people wonder why things might not be happening in their life, but now it's happening in their children's life or their grandchildren's life. What kind of seeds is it that you planted? They might have overlooked you being faithful every day of the week, opening the church, cleaning the church, cooking and everything else, that the things that you did towards God's house. They may have overlooked you, but God might be raising up a generation from your loins that God said, hey, I put my hand on that. So what it is that, is, that, you, that, you, that you're experiencing is because God decided, you know what, let's go ahead and uh, give them a turn. It's your time, child. What you going to do with it? So remember, we're to treat people like we want to be treated. We're going to do the right thing. And we're going to stop saying, but. I love the Lord, but. No, either you love him or you don't. I trust the Lord, but either you trust him or you don't. I'm saying, but no. I'm planting seeds. So I've got to sometimes let my yay be nay and my nay be nay. Sometimes I've got to uh, just be silent. And let God handle. Be blessed, my brothers and sisters. Understand that what you are going through, it has already been resolved. What you are up against, God has already fought and won the battle. The victory is yours. And I'm going to tell you that sometimes you may go to sleep and lay your head down and hell is raging all around you. But by the time the Lord touches you and wakes you up in the morning, he has already turned it all the way completely around. So stay in there. Don't get, con don't get it confused. Don't, don't start second guessing yourself. Our God is more than able. He's willing and he's working behind the scenes. Thank you so much for tuning into Car Key Global. God bless you.